Um, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. Damn, that was, <laughs> yeah, he, I mean, he didn't have to think about that one. Um, if you won $10 million tomorrow, what would you spend it on? Ooh, um, I probably would save it. Uh, I don't think I would spend, I would want to save it. I would want to save it and, and, and think about an investment. Yeah. All of it? You wouldn't spend any of it right away? No, uh, I, I probably, I mean, I kind of, kind of have everything That's... I want in life. Like as far as like, you know, value things, I, I would want to, I think 10 million, I would t definitely um, make an investment with it. Um, I just don't know right off the top of my head what investment yeah. I'll do. Got it. That's smart because most people who win the lottery are broke within five years. Yep, they are. <laughs> and miserable. The, uh, their lives sometimes destroyed, <laughs> shattered. Uh, good point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Smart. And this is my personal favorite question. Um, if you could go back and give your 18 year old self a piece of advice, what would it be? It would be um, to start saving from young. Start saving from young. Um, don't wait, you know, all the uh, all the uh, car stereo speakers, uh, rims, TVs, uh, none of that stuff is uh, worth it now. So if you could, if I could give myself advice, it'd be save as much as possible um, from back then to mo put myself in a better position now. Hello everyone. I wanted to tell you about a workshop we're holding at NADA 2023. We're covering how EV adoption rates will impact fixed operations in the future. We'll show you real and meaningful data that might just put you at ease. Or maybe not, you'll have to come see. Come join us at our workshop, How Electric Vehicles Will Change Fixed Operations. We'll see you there.